Hi, Michelle here. I hope you are having a great start to this new year. Uh, Right now we are on the 22nd day of January. So we're kind of mostly through the beginning of the year. And while it's not traditionally the time of the month in which we set goals for the year, I kind of like to wait to set goals until I've kind of settled into the new year, had all the bumps and hurdles of the new year uh, kind of past me, and I can see where I'm at and what's going on, and then more realistically make some goals for me for the next year. So what I've done is I've made some plant goals for me for the year 2024, and I thought I would just share them real quickly with you. I hope that this kind of spars a conversation, and in the comments section, you'll put below what your plant goals are for 2024. If you like today's video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you like this video and want to see other plant-related content like this from me, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, which is a real goal for me. And so I would really appreciate if you'd help me get to that goal. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. I do like to interact with my comment section, so I will get back to you. And now on with the video. First off, I want to say I had dental work done this morning. So this side of my mouth is still a little numb. So if you see me talk and this side kind of drags or kind of closes funny, that's why. So I noticed that uh, I'm, I'm, tr- <laughs> I'm trying to talk and my mouth isn't working quite all the way. So for Plant Goals 2024, I have three main categories. I have plant maintenance goals, YouTube goals, and plant acquisition goals. So these are kind of three different categories. The categories that I feel that that encompass the most of what I do with my plants, I collect plants, I maintain plants, and then I talk about plants on YouTube. Those are my three main areas of interest with plants. And so I wanted to have goals for each of those. And then after that is my YouTube growth goals, because I do have this little tiny YouTube channel that I am doing for me for a therapeutic uh, stress relief uh, brain interactive tool. But I would also like to grow the channel. Um, I would like to you know, see what I say, get out to a broader audience so that uh, I can get more feedback and get more interaction and get more talking about plants. Um, And the last one is plant acquisition goals. What are my goals for the plants I'm going to buy and sell this year? The first section is plant maintenance goals. And the first item I have is repot plants within a week of noticing it needs repotting. This is a really tough one. This is why I've had the last three videos were taking 10 or more plants and uprooting them because they had root rot. The reason I did that is because I did not, could not, uh, would not update, I would not take out the plants that I knew were not doing well and check out the roots at the time they happened. Um, I won't bore you with the reasons why, but so they lingered, uh, and they kind of suffered. And now I am trying to reestablish those plants, but a goal for 2024 would be if I could, uh, repot those plants within a week of noticing that they have an issue. That's a big goal for me. I think that would make my life a lot easier and would make my plants a lot happier. That's going to require some journaling in my bullet journal, creating a new page to 
to keep track of that. So that one's going to be a big goal for me. The second one is to water at least every seven days. This is a hard one for me. I wouldn't say I am absolutely rigid about watering on a schedule because the plants behind me in the Millsbo, a lot of them are in small cups and they can't go seven days between waterings. They'll just dry up. So I try to water sporadically. I know I have certain plants that need watering every three or four days and I try to hit those. Um, but a lot of my plants get watered every seven to 10 days. That seems to be about an average. And I'm talking about plants like this, uh, or Befolia dark, um, that gets watered every, the last time I watered before today was 11 days ago. And, uh, you know, the Orbifolia gets it too. Um, I need to be more scheduled to do it on every seven days because what's been happening is that seven days has been turning to eight days and nine days and 10 days. And like last time, 11 days. And that's putting too much stress on the plant. I haven't had any plants die uh, or have major issues because of it, but I have had plants that have issues and that's something that's a goal that I would really like to work on. The next goal is to propagate more and propagate more consistently. I have a bin, a propagation bin right here. You can hear it. Um, I would like to fill that up with cuttings. I have many plants, many plants, many plants that could definitely take a cutting and would not even notice that the cutting would be gone. And I would like to pot those up to eventually sell. The selling market is really tough right now. Um, costs are all over the place. Um, prices are all over the place. Uh, it's, it's just a, a crazy time for Hoyas. I'm basically kind of selling mine at a rock bottom price just to go ahead and sell them. Um, do I think I am doing good contributing to the low cost of the plants? Probably not. I would like to sell them for more, but I have tried to advertise them for more and they just don't sell. So, you know, I'm hoping that in the next year with the transition of people getting out of the hobby, the people who want to stay in the hobby will stay in the hobby uh, and will value their plants accordingly. Um, I'm just hoping that things kind of stabilize a little and that by the time I have some cuttings ready to sell, it'll stabilize a little. I'm not hoping for the crazy prices of 2021 and 2022, but um, I'm hoping that I can get a little bit more uh, value from my cuttings. So that's one of my goals is definitely to prop and not just a prop for sale, prop for trade too. Um, I think that I can do a lot more trades next year. I would like to do a lot more trades next year. The next item is one that you're going to see hopefully soon in the next video after this. And that is to reorganize my Millsbow cabinet at least once every quarter. Um, and that also takes turns with the detolfs on either side. Um, this cabinet is just an overgrown mess. It really is. I've moved like six plants out of there so far um, to various homes that are not really homes so far. I moved my sunrise out. I moved my, my, um, what the hell is that? I've moved several plants out, uh, over the last few weeks to ambient air, like the Rebecca, um, like the, like the sunrise. 
I moved them out into ambient humidity and they seem to be doing fine. So that's good. I don't want to do it to more sensitive plants, but I do have some pretty big plants that need to have uh, some adjustments and you need to have some more room to grow. Um, I'm starting to have to put them on taller trellises. So that's creating an issue too. Rearranging once every three months is more of a practical thing than a decoration thing. I need to find places for them to fit. I need to find places for them to thrive because not all of them are going to be thriving shoved in here like they are now. And the last one for plant maintenance goals is to take a nice photograph of my plants at least once every six months. And by what I mean by nice plant, nice pictures is I'll show one up here. This is a nice picture. This is a picture taken in a light box I have with my camera I'm filming on now. Um, it just takes really crisp, high quality pictures. The plants look great. Um, I would like to do this at least once every quarter. The pictures I have been taking are nice. They do the job, but they don't represent the plant in the best way. And I figure if I'm going to be taking a picture that I'm going to be using for posterity, it might as well be a uh, striking photo that really shows off the plant. So that's from another one of my goals, my last goal. Now we're on to my YouTube goals. These are goals specific to my channel, to recording and editing my channel, my videos on my channel. And the first one is to post five videos a month. I am not sure if I can post five videos a month. Uh, I have been doing fairly good about posting three to four videos a month. So five videos will definitely kick it up a notch for me. Um, I have tried to stay uh, fairly regular in my schedule. I am not on a work schedule schedule, um, but I try to work on my uh, videos every day. I try to plan what I'm going to do with my videos. Uh, that's all going to come in for the new year when I'm going to try to make at least five videos a month. So that's one a week and then one extra to pop in here and there. Maybe it'll be a short, uh, maybe it'll be just something filmed quick. I'm not for sure yet, but I'm going to try and insert a fifth one. My next one is to get to a thousand subscribers. That is my goal. I've been talking about that since I started my channel. And you know that that is a big goal and uh, I am almost there. I would like to do a plant giveaway. Um, it's cold right now and I don't trust shipping, but I would like to do a plant giveaway when things get warm. Maybe due to, maybe the speed of my channel will be so much that I can do a 1500 subscribers giveaway. Um, that would be really awesome but I'm planning in the spring to do a plant giveaway to really uh, ramp up my social media presence, my Instagram, my Instagram presence and do a giveaway uh, of one of my plants or maybe a terrarium that I'm making, you know, just something like that. Uh, just a, a nice little giveaway. This is something it's it's a goal of mine I don't know how much I'll achieve it but it's a want of mine and that would be to do a collaboration with another plant youtuber um, I'm not for sure how how much that could really be possible I have never reached out to any other youtubers and asked this but I would really love to do some sort of co collaboration video um that would be my dream. I'm hoping that maybe once I get a little bit more stable on my channel and start start posting more videos and they get more views and I get more of an audience, my subscriber count goes up, maybe I'll be more attractive to other, other plant, plant YouTubers and they'll want to agree to do some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of, 
group video with me, a collaboration. So that, that was kind of exciting. That was nerve wracking too, because that entails me asking people if they want to do something with me and facing when they say no, or when they say politely, maybe, but you know, it's no. The next kind of YouTube ones are more technical. And what I would like is I would like to have a, a video of mine reach 5,000 hits in the first 30 days. I would like to make a video that is so good that it far exceeds any of the other videos I've put out so far. That would be really awesome. That would mean that I have a plant video that really sticks with the audience, people really like it, um, that it attracts a, a wide range of people. I would really like to find that, that one video that really resonates with people and kind of go on from there. Um, I've had a, a couple of videos that did pretty good, um, but uh, nothing like that. Now, the last three are kind of a technical aspect for me. And this is not something I can share with you, though you may see a difference. Hopefully you will see a difference. And the first one is learn my camera more so that I can become a better videographer. The camera I have is the Sony um, ZV-1 and it has a lot of uh, features on it. The only other camera I have besides this is my iPhone. Um, and as you know, iPhones do it all for you. Um, and this one, you, in order to get the best uh, shot, you manually adjust and you manually set everything. So I have gotten kind of the swing of it to a point. Um, there is a lot of things I have to learn, but I want to learn my camera so that I can be the best, I, I can produce the best raw footage I can for my videos. And along with that is I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos. I know the basics of how to use the program. I know how to edit the timeline and how to insert things and how to process things. I know the basics. I would like to learn more than the basics so that I can do more neat jump shots. I would like to learn more fancy video things. I, I really want to insert more B-roll into my footage. So basically when you're looking at me and the, the you know, I'm talking about my camera and a, a video of the camera comes by, that's B-roll. So I want to do more of that. So I have to learn that. So that's a goal for 2024. And going along with that, um, I also want to learn how to use a product called Adobe After Effects. Adobe After Effects is when you see the, when I do a, the name of a plant and there's a little flashing uh, name at the bottom of the plant, at the bottom of the screen that tells you what the plant is, that's, a, that's an image, that's a graphic that's made in Adobe After Effects. Um, I did not make that. I, I find those and use those as is. I tweak them, but I use them as is. But I would like to use Adobe After Effects, the program that they're made in, to make more changes to them. Now, the last part, and probably the most interesting part to you, is the plant acquisition goals. These are some of the, these are the hard ones. These are the, these are the, careful what you do once. The first one is I want to spend less. I want to spend $50 a month or $150 a quarter or less on plants. The reason I say that is I may come into a plant that is $100. Well, if I, I would exceed my monthly budget but if I put $150 per quarter, I can buy that $100 plant. I'll just only have one 
only have $50 left for the entire quarter to spend on the rest of my plants. And to be honest with you, I think that's more than a fair price. My plants, my house right now is pretty full of plants. I'm at the point where I'm going to have to start purging some plants to to get rid of some that are not sparking me joy anymore. Um, And that's hard because they all spark me joy. So I need to get rid of some. I need to get rid of some. So uh, like I have an entire bin full of Milano Chrysum, like 75 of them. (laughs) What am I going to do with that? (laughs) You know, I'm not going to raise a Milano Chrysum farm and go on eBay and start selling them. So I need to do something like that. The second goal I have for my plant acquisitions is I want to have, I want to try and have one trade for every three plants I buy. So I want to try trading plants. So I'll buy three plants, then I want to have a trade. Um, That's kind of hard because the plant community is not at least locally is not really a, a trading a trading community um i've traded and shipped to people and that worked out well um but i haven't really traded locally so that is a goal for mine that i need to flesh out a little more and see how i'm going to accomplish that But that's the goal for every three plants I buy, I want to trade for another one. And finally, I want to go through my collection twice a year and purge anything that does not spark joy in me. I have a lot of plants that I'm looking at my Vitz Joe cabinet over there. I have a lot of plants that are nice, but they're not sparking me joy. Um, I could get rid of them. I could donate them, sell them, trade them for another plant. And, you know, that plant might bring me a lot more joy. I might enjoy taking care of that plant a lot more. So that's what I'm going to do for now. I really hope you enjoyed listening to me talk about my plant goals for 2024. I'd really love to hear your plant goals down in the comments section below. Please tell me what your kinds of goals are for the year or if you even set plant goals. You know, for the last, I've collected plants since 2019 and this is the first year I've set official plant goals for myself. So let me know. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.